does your day to day look like? Do you have a routine? Do you like the, the chaos? <sighs> um. Hippos were my favorite animal for like years. Why? Because they're so big. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a good reason to like an animal. <laughs> <You're just> like, <laughs> I like to make tea in the morning instead of coffee because coffee's like too much for me because it's just like all of a sudden it's like bam you're awake be alive and now and and tea's more like um oh that's the wrong one <laughs> tea's more like a gradual hello you're alive today sort of thing waiting for the water to boil it's the worst part because all i have to do is not look at it because it takes forever so i ran out of high garden tea which is my favorite tea but um I always put two in my mug if I run out of high garden because their sachets are like huge. Um, I always have mint and chamomile. Have you guys ever seen Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends? That used to be my favorite show and um, whenever someone goes, it's hot, I always have to say, it's hot in Topeka. You know that episode when they're watching the Weather Channel and they're like, it's hot in Topeka. And then Blue is like, it's hot, 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 hot. You do be God. <laughs> and he like says it in a bunch of different ways. Okay, whatever, maybe it's just me. But if anyone knows what I'm talking about, that would be great. My mug is from Maine. It's my favorite mug in the world because Maine is my hometown pretty much. Um, yeah, I spent like my formative childhood years there. It's my favorite place in the world. We go back every summer and yeah, it's just a great place with great people. So let's make breakfast. So first, I will do the potatoes. I am a very impatient person, so I don't like to spend a lot of time cooking, but I do enjoy like making like meals for myself because I feel like it's really therapeutic. Um, Cause I kind of just zone out while I'm cooking or like I'll listen to um, like, uh, what's that style of music? It's like, it's like either Spanish or Italian, but it's like, it's like cooking music. <laughs> That's, this isn't it, this is an ad. Like this, what is this? This is like salsa, right? Yeah. I like salsa music while I cook. Mm. Mm -hmm. I write music for Soundstripe. I um, get tracks from the composers um, that I'm supposed to collaborate with that month. Um, and then I write the song on top of it. I'll like listen through it and have my voice memo recording on and then, um, and I'll like record melodically ideas and then some like phrases that come to mind, I'll just like type them out. Um, and then I'll write the song and then record it all. After school, I had just graduated and I was working towards a publishing deal because um, I thought that's what, you know, the only thing I could, I could do. <laughs> and um, I was introduced to Micah and Travis and um, I sent them some songs that I had written on top of and, and asked them if they were um, wanting to hire a top liner, um, someone who writes on top of tracks, and then they hired me. And it's been the best thing ever. And, and Soundstripe really brought in the collaborative oneness that everyone you know everyone's trying to look for something or feel something and when when you bring all your talents together to create something it just makes something so special that I didn't find anywhere else because it's really for a bigger purpose and not just for you you know it's for the filmmakers and the artists who really have a vision and it helps their vision come alive and speak to people in more mediums and more um, dimension and it's just so unique and so special that I I couldn't be more thankful to, f to have this job and, and find a company that really just cultivates creativity and freedom in that way. So, 